Oh. Oh my gosh. I am totally out of words. I'm gonna cry. Why? Oh my gosh, this should not be on camera. This is really nice. I mean, this is happy memories, right? Gosh, guys, I think I should probably turn off the camera for now. Hi everyone! Welcome to my final video on my tidying journey which tackles the last stage of the KonMari method, the mementos or the sentimental items. I'm getting goosebumps because it does feel heavy as it sounds. Sentimental items, huh? Ever since I showed everything inside this box right here, I couldn't remember what are all of those because from stage one until stage four according to marie kondo all the things that we encounter which are sentimental to us we should deal with it on the last part and so it's all right here inside this box and i think i will be having a series of nostalgic moments later on being a sentimental person i know it's not going to be easy to declutter all of this Anyway, as you can see, I'm shooting this spontaneously, which means I have absolutely no idea on what lights ahead. So, are you with me? Let's do this. Okay, let's open the treasure box. So the first thing is this. It's my 7th birthday invitation card. Wow, I'm gonna keep these. Now what's inside this box? So, picture of me right there, of course. It has to be in a scrapbook. Ooh, my elementary best friends. Oh my. And I was just thinking about them earlier today because three of them are already in UK. And I miss them really so much. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna show them. Okay, what is this? <gasps> of course, my dance group in college and it's our event. So maybe this will go to the scrapbook pile on the college. I think I would be arranging it by timeline. Like college, elementary, and um, kids, kitty days. Right, that's a good idea. So... If I find something interesting, I'm going to show you guys. In the meantime, let me go through over these one by one. Now, here is something interesting which I want to share with you. Just a little part of myself and my life. This is my first ever dance workshop. And I can still remember I was really inspired by my first ever dance teacher, Miss Therese. So she was my dance teacher here. And then... Here is my dance file, by the way. And then, I am not really sure what year, but just if, probably like a year after that, or two years after that, I was invited by her, or I was referred by her to teach dance to the school that she was teaching because she got pregnant. And so she taught me everything I had to teach the kids. It's a kid's ballet and a kid's Hawaiian, so she told me not to worry about it. She saw my potential, so that was the first start of my career as a dance teacher. Oh, oh I miss her so much. I wouldn't be who I am or where I am without her. And look at these guys. These are the medals I've won way back in high school because I am a consistent chess champion. Yes, that's right guys. Chess was basically my sport when I was in high school. And I'm going to show you something. Ta-da! I hope you can see it guys. This was the one I'm telling you about. This was the first ever dance class that I taught. And yeah, I told you about this earlier. 
I substituted my dance teacher because she got pregnant and this was my very first face leap. And I can still remember, I had one of these kids, Naomi. She gave me a headband as a gift with a special note and it's written, you are my inspiration teacher. So imagine, this was 2011, so I am probably second year college by then. And imagine receiving that kind of letter from a kid at such a young age. I think that's what motivated me to become a dance teacher and to become what I am right now. Okay, so within less than an hour, I think I'm quite moving faster than I thought. So I have some piles right here. These are all the memories I'm going to keep from way back when I was in high school. Here are my dance stuff, dance memorabilia, my kitty pictures, which I'm going to put in a photo album right here. Some, these are my medals inside. And in the shape on board, I think I will try to organize them in this box. And this was a gift from one of my high school best friends. Ia. These are the stuff that I am letting go. Not these, these are DVDs, souvenir DVDs. So I'm gonna place them somewhere. So let's keep sorting out. And look at these guys. It's an empty scrapbook. Uh-huh. Nothing, like literally nothing inside. I've always wanted to have a scrapbook of my love story, but over the past years, I just don't seem to have a decent relationship, you know? that I could put here until it became so dusty already and broken right there. Is that right? Now I don't know what to do with this. Okay. Should I wait for another love story to unfold or should I just throw this? <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, so I am almost finished. I'm down to this last pile right here. Then I'm all good. Alright, so let's keep sorting. Okay, so this was my photo pass when I was in Hong Kong Disneyland. Yay! I'm gonna keep it. I like it. And these are my senior prom pictures. Look at that. And this is me on my junior high. Oh, such a... I don't have a sense of fashion and style during those days. <laughs> and then what else? Look, it's me! Oh, see, ever since I was a kid, I'm always bungis bungis like this ever since. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we have? It's a card. I think this was the card me and Mommy Rose are using when we were in Genting Highland. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it, you know. Maybe we could still use it. Right, Mommy Rose? <laughs> Okay, so keep it. What else? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, so I found these. And um. Um. I don't know what to say, guys. Uh. It's a. It's. It's. It's um. It's Gardens by the Bay card. And yes, that's me right there at the back. And um, I got it last year. Um, okay, let's. I am totally out of words. I, yeah. There is a big story behind this card. So, uh, my hair, my having goosebumps. Okay, so I'm gonna cry. Why? Oh my gosh, this should not be on camera. Um, okay, this is really nice. I mean, this is happy memories, right? Gosh, guys, I think I should probably turn off the camera for now. I'll get back to you later. So...
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> okay, so I am all good and alive and kicking right here. If you're asking me what was that, that was nothing. That was like tears of joy because it brought me back to such good memories. <sighs> so just breathe, 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 right? Alright, so moving on. These are the stuff that I'm going to get rid of and I'm almost done. The last item that I need to sort through are my beauty queen stuff like my trophies and sashes and they are quite a lot. Are you ready to see them? So here they are. A couple of years ago, I started joining beauty pageants. Those were my glory days. We went on from one town to another to compete at different beauty contests. And I never went home without an award. From small town competitions to international pageants, I have always dreamt of winning a crown. But the sad part is in almost all of the pageants I join, I always win the first runner-up. In other words, I'm always second best. Well, the good part was in all of the pageants that I joined, I also always win the best in talent award. Uh-huh. Here is another first runner-up sash. Ugh. Now this sash right here is one of my favorite pageants, Limgas na Pangasinan 2014, where I won first runner-up and best in talent. I kept joining and joining until finally I was able to win a crown. Miss Kreba Festival Queen, where I represented Kreba Baguio. You might be wondering what will I do with all of these sashes? Well, I've decided to throw most of them away, but one thing I learned from Marie Kondo is that I can always take pictures of some sentimental items before I throw them away so that I can still look back at these memories without the physical clutter. And so that's what I did. By batch, I hanged them here and took pictures of them. The same goes with my trophies. I have kept a handful of them over the past years and they just gathered dust. I have probably managed to throw some before but now I will do it again and I will try to get rid of some which would not be visually appealing as well because I want to put them on display. What else would you do with trophies, right? In the end, these are the trophies that I decided to keep mostly from my big pageants and these are the ones I'm getting rid of. Thank you for the wonderful glory days. And that's pretty much it guys. You know what this means? I am finally done with the KonMari method. Yay! From the first stage, which are the clothes and then the books and then the papers to kimonos. And now I finally take off the mementos. Oh. Well, just to give some of my thoughts about the last stage, it is true, it's definitely no easy job to let go of sentimental items that doesn't spark joy in your life because at some point, it won't spit. But one thing I've learned and have managed to develop throughout the journey of tidying up my room using the KonMari method was that it is so much easier to let go of the things that won't spark joy in you by being grateful for them by thanking them for the good memories that they brought in your life you know and um some pieces are really meant to stay because you will feel that you know you will really feel that spark joy in them but some wouldn't and it doesn't mean they don't have the same am amount of joy in your life. Also, by doing the KonMari method systematically, I have also noticed that I went over through the items faster than I thought, you know. It's like letting go of some sentimental items that doesn't spark joy in you anymore has become a little bit easier. Just a little bit. <laughs> But you're gonna know that, you know, especially for those who have finished KonMari method as well. Once they reach the sentimental items part or the last stage, they're gonna notice that it is a little bit easier than how you thought it would be. I just get explained it, but that's how it is. So, yeah. 
Anyway, I have good news for all of you guys who have been with me in this Conway journey since day one. This may be the last stage of the Conway method, but this is not the last video. I'm going to be making a special video finale on the whole series of me tidying up my room using the KonMari method which means I am going to show you the before and after of, e of my room in each of the categories yay and also I will be sharing my thoughts about the KonMari method you know will it be something that I would be incorporating in my life permanently or will it be something that I would recommend to my family or to you who's watching this right now? Is it really life-changing or is it even worth trying, you know? And a lot more. So, you better watch out for that, yes! As always guys, please feel free to share your thoughts and comments, tips, advice and feedbacks in the comment section down below. Yes, that's right. Or you can also message me in my Instagram account, Senorita Maria Maria. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Grazie, gracias, shishi, arigato gozaimasu, taksumyuket, danke, salamat, and palpalogi salamat etsukeyo namin. That's my local dialect, as requested by my friend. <laughs>